Hello and welcome to Josephus Roman History. Today I want to talk about the Archibalista. What is the Archibalista? This is a weapon shrouded in mystery that's captured the imagination of historians and scholars for century. Mentioned only by the Roman writer Vegetius in his military treatise Epitome Re Militaris, despite much debate about its nature and function. In etymological terms, Latin ballista is taken from the Greek ballistra, itself derived from ballo, the verb meaning I throw. So man ballista, the Latin variant of the Greek cara ballistra, has the sense of hand projector. Vegetius distinguishes the archibalista from the manu ballista, a well-understood torsion powered bolt thrower. The name itself offers a clue. Arcus translates the bow in Latin into a weapon different from the torsion mechanisms used in traditional ballista. However, whether this refers to a completely non-torsion weapon or a crossbow design with an arch strut, like the Latin Arcus Ferreus, remains unclear. Further clues emerge, however, when Vegetius differentiates Archibalistae from slings and staff slings. Uh, by grouping them together, he suggests that they were both handheld weapons, unlike the larger mounted ballistae, seen for example in Trajan's column. Intriguingly, reliefs discovered in Gaul from Salignac and saint Michel depicts what may be Archibalistae, and are those lacking the complex winching mechanisms needed for spanning a traditional ballista. Thus we turn to the crossbows depicted on the Gallo-Roman reliefs shown here. These are obviously not estrophetas, the Greek belly bows, and seem a... Thus we turn to the crossbows depicted on the Gallo-Roman reliefs shown here. These are obviously not gastrophetes, their famous Greek belly bows, and seem more akin to the crossbows that would appear much later in history. Based on these reliefs, scholars have proposed detailed rep Based on these reliefs, scholars have proposed detailed reconstructions of the archibalistae, including its dimensions, the stock being between 60 and 70 centimetres in length, and the bow with a length of about 130 centimetres. They also show us the method of spanning the bow, as we see here. To span archibalistae, uh, one must place a foot on the belly of the bow, either side of the stock, and draw the bowstring by hand. So the draw weight of the archibalista cannot be so great that the bow cannot be spanned by hand. The exact mechanism for releasing the bowstring, however, remains a mystery. Some reconstructions explore a trigger mechanism similar to those found in medieval crossbows, but evidence for such a complex system is unfortunately lacking. The debate around the archibalista's trigger mechanism highlights the ongoing mystery surrounding this weapon. Some scholars propose a revolving nut with a notch that could be engaged by a trigger bar, similar to mechanisms found in medieval crossbows. However, there's no archaeological evidence to confirm such complexity in the Roman era. The possibility that the archibalista was used for hunting adds another layer of intrigue. The ancient Greeks had handheld crossbows called gastrophetes, and the archibalista might have fulfilled a similar role for the Romans. Unfortunately, the lack of surviving archibalista specimens and Vegetius' limited description leave much room for speculation. However, the depictions on the Gallo-Roman reliefs provide a foundation for educated reconstructions. Scholars believe these reliefs depict handheld bows with properties similar to the flexion bows used in medieval crossbows, rather than the torsion mechanisms of traditional ballistae. Future discoveries or in-depth analysis of existing reliefs may shed more light on the archibalista's design and functionality. Until then, it remains an enigmatic weapon, a fascinating glimpse into the evolution of ranged weaponry. Thank you very much for your time today. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and remember to leave a comment below. I've added all links and further reading in the description. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.